Hi, kids. Great to see you again. This morning, we're looking at our messy door of sin again. Oh, Alex, hi. Great to see you again. Do you think you could come up here and give me a hand? Yes, Alex, you. You're the only one here. Uh, okay. Well, uh, so, what's this messy door of sin? Well, it's something I've been working on with the kids over the past few weeks until this COVID-19 thing came along. We've been adding messy to the store that are kind of like sin. The first week we added handprints and fingerprints because sin is personal. The second week we added sticky tape because tape is sticky, just like our sin. And sometimes it's hard to forgive others. The third week we broke a pot and we added all the broken pieces to our door because sometimes there are things we just can't fix and we have to wait for Jesus to return someday so that he can fix all these broken pieces and these broken sins. This week, we're going to have something else to add. Um, it seems like you've added a lot already. Is there really more mess to add? Unfortunately, yes. Sin is very, very messy. So, what is it? Well, this week we're going to add spray paint to our, do our door, as sin tends to try and take over everything. Well, let's do it. Wow, that paint really did take over. It sure did. Sin tries to take over just like this paint tries to take over this door. So what does the Bible have to say? Well, here in Romans 6, verse 12, it says, Therefore, do not let sin reign in your mortal body so that you obey its evil desires. So sin can really rule me. Absolutely. Jesus once said, I tell you the truth, everyone who sins is a slave to sin. So, what can I do about it? Well, we need to pray about it. And Jesus taught us two prayers about sin. The first one was, forgive us our sins, as we have also forgiven those who sin against us. So we need to ask for forgiveness when we sin. And then the second prayer was like it, and he taught, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. So, I'll just have to pray these ones, and I won't sin anymore. God. Well, well, not quite. Sin always wants to take over. So we need to pray these prayers often. Pray these prayers often. Got it. Yes. And we also have to pray them, truly wanting them and truly believing that God can answer them. Okay. Good to know. Truly wanting and truly believing. Well, kids, it was great to have you again here this week for this lesson. And we hope you have a great week ahead. And remember, whenever you sin, remember to ask God for his forgiveness knowing that he really does. And whenever you are tempted to sin, remember to ask him to deliver you, knowing that he really can.